All right, uh, I just wanted to see how uh, well my uh, basic standard no frills Ender 3 uh, printer does. As you can see for yourself, uh, that's not a metal extruder right there. That's the plastic extruder. Uh, filaments mounted here on the side uh, where it has a direct path into the plastic extruder. Um, we've got the white Bowden tube, not the blue one. Uh, we've also um, have just a standard a hot end, your basic uh, Bowden tube, uh, hot end, and nozzle uh, to filament down to the table. Those are the three basic things that's required uh, for Ender 3 uh, or any uh, 3D printing. Uh, you can also uh, see here that I use the old school tramming tool. It's paper feeler gauge. There's no electronic gizmo needed at all. Um, also, you can see I do indeed print on mirror. Uh, because there's many uh, advantages to that, which we won't go into here. Uh, but you can see there's no brim, there's no uh, no raft, no messy uh, messy ass glue stick. You know, Elmo's glue or what some people use, which is probably okay. Um, but I tend to do it in this fashion. Uh, I don't have to cross my fingers or wish you know any luck. In fact, I could have been printing uh, another one of these right next to it. Print two of them. There'd be no stringing or anything like that. We're going to go over here real quick and look at the temperature of the bed. It's a non-heated bed. This is room temperature right there. I don't know if you can see that. That's non-heated. Um, uh, there, It's indicating 27 Celsius. Uh, we'll go down here to the springs. Those are regular standard springs that came with the printer. No need to go with yellow ones or, or solid chunks of rubber. I, I don't want to defeat the safety feature of regular springs. So I just kept the regular ones in place uh, so that basically the printer prints fine. Uh, you can see here it's almost done. Let's go all the way up. It's about a five, just, just over five inches, 5.1, something like that. But it is coming to a, a close here. Uh, just wanted to let you see that, uh, let you know that the, just a basic Ender 3, uh, no frills, no additions, no aftermarket so-called upgrades required. Not even factory upgrades are required. We just have the hot end and a couple of fans. Uh, this is a 0.4 millimeter nozzle. Uh, I am printing PLA. And again, we'll show the, the bed here. Uh, it's a nozzle's 210. Uh, the bed is, uh, is non-heated. You can see the set point there uh, is zero. That means no set point. So it's not a, not a heated bed at all. It's just not required, especially when I do it like this. I do it purposely like this so I don't have to heat the bed and deal with heating and cooling and warping and yada 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 blah 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 but uh, there it is holding its own uh, as it always has on all the prints I've done no issues and again I could have print two of these three or four on the same bed but again uh, one is just sufficient enough to show that uh, the adhesion is just as good in this particular instance with the way I print um, with uh, no glue no uh, no brim no brim required um, That'll just pop right off the, uh, the bed when it's done. All right, so there you go. Just uh, wanted to show you, it's coming to a close here. It's probably about, about three more minutes. What do you think? No crossing fingers. It's going to finish as it always has. All right, uh, I guess that's it. I guess I could keep the camera going for another couple minutes, but you get the point. It's uh, printing fine as it always has. I've uh, been printing well over four and a half years uh, with this means of uh, setting up the bed. I've done over 3,500 STL files and now I can add this uh, to uh, my uh, list of successful prints. That's like I say, well over 3,500 uh, on four Ender 3 printers all set up exactly the same way. Uh, again, no electronic gizmo needed. Uh, I can just use the old, as I always do, paper feeler gauge because it works and it's fast. It takes like 60 seconds. I don't have to print any test, you know, prints or squares or circles or lines or yada, yada, yada. Because when I print that stuff, it has to be removed. And by removing it, it would probably uh, disrupt uh, the leveling. So that's why I don't do it. It's just not needed. Um, and this is, uh, this is kind of like, I guess, proof as it's printing right now as you see it okay all right happy printing
All right, we got another, yeah, about two and a half minutes. All right, that's it, just to show you that it is possible, and it is possible with your basic, no frills, run of the mill, Ender 3 printer with no uh, added aftermarket so-called upgrades, as they say, uh, because the upgrades don't seem to really do anything special uh, at all. It doesn't improve on the print at all. It just, uh, it's just something else to deal with when it goes bad. All right, that's it. Happy printing.